everyone, my name's Ali, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Mindful Living. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how my container garden has been growing throughout the month of July. There's been lots of changes in my garden in the past month, so let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay, the first plant I'm going to show you is my zucchini plant. This is a Ford Hook Bush variety of zucchini, and I did have a little bit of a mishap with this plant. It was doing really well and producing really well for me. I got tons of zucchinis so far, but unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, my hanging strawberry basket, which is right above my zucchini plant, ended up falling and completely crushing the plant. So I had to go ahead and plant a new zucchini in my container and I did that right away and you guys can see how fast it grows. It's only about a couple weeks and the plant is already pretty large at this point. So sometimes things like that will happen and you have to pull that plant out and start again. Okay, moving on to my strawberries now that I've been talking about those. I have two hanging baskets of strawberries in my container garden and both are ever bearing variety of strawberries. So that means they'll continue to produce throughout the whole summer. And so far I've gotten quite a few harvests off my strawberries. Just showing you guys more of a close up of the berries here. You wanna make sure to pluck them when they're fully red all the way around. And they are so sweet, so juicy. They're the best thing about summer. I love growing strawberries in my container garden every year. Here's a harvest I did off the one plant. Got about 10 berries here. And these are some of the biggest berries I've actually grown in my container garden. They're really large this year. Moving on to the blueberry bush. I talked about how I replaced my blackberry bush with a blueberry bush this year. And I haven't had much growth on my blueberry bush so far this year. I've heard that blueberry bushes like an acidic soil, so I'm going to try doing a treatment for that to make the soil a little more acidic because I haven't had any blooms or any flowers popping up on this yet. Next up is my banana pepper, and this is a sweet variety of banana pepper. I have about eight peppers growing so far, lots of flowers popping up, so I'm hoping to get quite a good harvest off my pepper plant this year. Just showing you the size of the peppers here. They're still quite small. And next up is my Big Bomb Pepper. So this is a hot pepper variety. It likes full sun up to six hours and the peppers will ripen to red. I already have a few that have started to ripen and these are perfect for stuffing or grilling on the barbecue. Really excited to do a full harvest of my peppers once they all turn to red. And here I'm showing my bell pepper. I have two bell pepper plants in the garden and they are both a California Wonder variety. So these will ripen to be orange or red. You only wanna put one pepper plant per container as they are gonna grow to be pretty large. So far, I just have a few tiny peppers popping up, but no full peppers growing yet. Here's my jalapeno pepper. So this is obviously a hot variety of pepper and these will mature in anywhere from 75 to 80 days. Jalapenos like full sun, so at least six to eight hours a day, and you only wanna plant one plant per container. You can go ahead and harvest your peppers when they're three inches long. I absolutely love making jalapeno poppers or fresh salsa with mine. Moving on to my two tomato plants. These are both a determinate variety of tomato, which means they're only gonna grow to a certain height and then they will set all their fruit at once. This is a more space saving and compact variety of tomato, so it's really good to grow in a container garden. I already have lots of tomatoes and lots ripening and ready to be harvested shortly. So there is my two tomato plants. And I do have a third one that I planted a little bit later, but it's not as far along as the other two. And it's just starting to put out some flowers. Next here, I'm showing you guys my cherry tomato. And if you remember from my last videos, this was supposed to be a Tiny Tim variety of tomato. And clearly it is not. It is quite tall. Tiny Tims are only supposed to grow to be about two feet tall or so. And this one is already about five feet tall. So I'm not sure what happened with the seeds. Obviously they were not a Tiny Tim variety, but regardless, I'm still growing the plant and giving it a little bit more support. It is in a smaller container, which I wouldn't have normally planted it in if I knew it 
was going to get that big, but I do have lots of little tomatoes popping up. Next here I'm showing my green beans. This is a tender green bush variety of green beans, and I have two plants in this one container. You want to harvest your beans when they're anywhere from 4 to 5 inches long. So these ones here are already ready, and I'm going to pluck them right off the plant right now. I got quite a nice handful of beans here, and beans are really great to grow in your container garden as they produce for you throughout the whole summertime. You want to make sure to pluck them so you encourage your plant to keep growing. Next I'm showing my leeks. So this is an autumn giant variety of leeks, and I started these in the spring. Leeks take a really long time to grow, so they'll mature in anywhere from 120 to 150 days. Make sure to give them full sun, but I do give them afternoon shade if it's really hot and humid out. Also when planting leeks, you want to leave 4 to 5 inches between your plant because they are going to grow thicker as they get bigger. I probably won't be harvesting these until sometime in September, but they are getting really large at this point. Okay, next up is my cucumber plant. This is a bush champion variety of cucumber. I already did a full video of this on my channel, harvesting a couple cucumbers and doing a cucumber salad recipe. So if you missed that, make sure to go back on my channel and check it out as well. This type of plant produces anywhere from 10 to 12 inch cucumbers and I already have a few more growing but the plant is definitely almost at the end of its life cycle. The plant is definitely looking a little rough and it's had better days but that's one thing that does happen with cucumber plants as the heat starts to set in throughout the later summertime. So I've gone ahead and started another two cucumber plants in another container so that I can continue to have cucumbers going into August and September. Next up is Swiss chard. This is a bright lights variety, so there's multiple colors in the pack, and I'm growing two yellow varieties and one is white. So one fun fact about Swiss chard is it is very heat tolerant. It's done really well in the high temperatures here. Lately it's been anywhere from 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, so it's really hot on the balcony right now. And my Swiss chard has held up awesome. It's still really green and lush looking. I make sure to give it lots of water and give it some afternoon shade, and so far it's been growing really well, so I'll be doing a full harvest of this soon. I already harvested a few leaves here and there to add into salads, but stay tuned on my channel for a full harvest and video on growing Swiss chard in containers. Okay, so this is my sugar snap peas, and this is a dwarf grey sugar pea variety, so it's only going to grow to be about 3 feet tall. This plant really has not done so well in the heat, so I did have to actually start again, so here is the new transplant. I went ahead and started some more seeds, and moved it to a different spot in the balcony so it will get some partial shade in the afternoon heat, and I'm hoping that'll help the plant do better. Next to it there I have my beets, so this is a better rave variety of beets, and you can actually harvest the greens to eat right away, some of these you can grab and put in your salads. You want to give your beets full sun, so 6 hours or more a day, and plant them directly in the soil as they don't like to be transplanted. I have transplanted my beets in the past, but I would just recommend planting them directly in the soil as it's easier. Next up is my Senposai greens, so this is a hybrid cross between cabbage and mustard spinach. It grows really fast, matures in about 30 days. This is also a heat tolerant variety, but you can see here I've had a few caterpillars come along and eat some of the leaves. So make sure to watch out for that on your lettuce and your cabbage greens, as caterpillars really love those. Here I'm showing some heat tolerant varieties of lettuce like Little Gem and Butter Crunch. These grow fairly fast and they can tolerate some of the hot summer heat. Just make sure to give them afternoon shade like I've said with the other plants. You never want to leave your lettuce greens in intense heat in the afternoon sun as that will cause them to wilt. I've gone ahead and pretty much harvested all this lettuce at this point as it was getting really hot where I live. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and replant some more of that. Underneath my lettuce tower, I have some arugula and spinach growing. This is also really fast growing. Arugula grows in 35 days and spinach grows in 40 to 45 days. Again, I've gone ahead and harvested all of this because we did have a heat wave coming and I knew that the greens are not going to hold up in that. So you can easily harvest your greens and keep them in the fridge for a few days and keep them fresh that way. And these are the containers now that I've already sowed some new seeds into and there's been lots of growth on. The other stackable container, I've planted some seeds in again as well. Just make sure you're growing heat tolerant varieties in July and August. 
Next up is a new plant I added into the garden in the past month, which is kale. This is a dwarf green curly variety of kale, and while kale is a cool season crop, it can hold up to some of the summer heat if you give it some afternoon shade. Next up is my carrots, and these are pretty much ready for harvest. This is a colorful kaleidoscope blend of carrots, and carrots will take up to 75 days to mature, and it's about time I pull these out of the container and I'll probably plant some more in its place. Make sure when you're sowing your carrots, you put them directly in the container and leave two to three inches per plant. Here I'm showing my basil plant. This is a sweet basil variety. Basil loves the sun and it loves the heat, so it's perfect for summertime and you can plant anywhere from two to three plants per container. You don't need a very large size container for growing basil. And last up, I'm going to show you guys my herb garden. So this is my little DIY herb garden. So it has thyme, parsley, oregano, dill. I'm growing green onions and chives as well, all of which are doing really well and holding up really well to the summer heat. I make sure to give them adequate water and check on them throughout the day on the days that it's really hot out. But yeah, my chives are growing out of control and my green onions have gotten really tall. I've been using these in tons of dishes this summer. It's so nice to have it right outside and not have to buy it from the grocery store. Definitely saves you a lot of money and I love cooking with fresh herbs. Here I'm just showing my dill plant and this is also growing really well. I've sowed a few seeds throughout the summer so it continuously grows. Dill is one of my favorite herbs to grow for sure. Well, that's it for this video. I hope if you guys enjoyed my July garden tour that you'll leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your garden is going. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really does help to support me and my channel. See you guys in my next one.